Hey, what's up, high ticket affiliate marketers and coaches. Welcome to another episode. Today, I'm gonna be talking about something that if you can grasp the concept of this, it's going to reduce, dramatically reduce the price resistance when you are presenting your offer. It's going to help you elevate the perceived value of any offer that you're presenting. It's going to help you convert more of your leads into sales. Really, really cool stuff. So I know that's a big bold claim and I understand if you're skeptical at this point. And it's something we can all do. It's not super complex. It just takes a little bit of lateral thinking when it comes to deploying this stuff in our marketing. So if that's of interest, I will catch you guys right after this. All right, welcome back, guys. My name is Jamie Gardner, and in this episode, what I'm going to be covering is a couple of techniques that you can start to deploy as part of your marketing, which is going to dramatically lower price resistance once you're presenting your offer. This is also going to help when it comes to the creation of your offers. It is also going to help when you're producing content and overall just make you a more efficient marketer that has an incredibly high conversion rate based off some of these principles. Now, there's actually three things I'm gonna be talking about in this episode. And before I get into that, if this is the first time here, I'd like to say an incredibly warm welcome to you. My name is Jamie Gardner. And over the last 12-ish years, my goodness, I almost had a, a brain fart when I said that. Basically, I've been involved in affiliate marketing since 2011, and it was very far from linear my journey. I Got started, I set up blogs, I failed my way through all sorts of different things, went bankrupt back in 2015. I was able to use the ad skills that are built up through running uh, ads to e-commerce stores to finally leave the workforce and run ads for small businesses. And I later transitioned back into affiliate marketing, which I've been doing in the background anyway, that was in 2019. And in late 2019, I finally got my quote unquote, my big break and started cracking $1,000 days in my high ticket affiliate marketing business. And within just 14 months of that first 1K day, I would have uh, the click funnels to Comic Cobb Award for surpassing a million dollars in revenue through a single funnel that is with uh, a couple of amazing coaches who I'm still incredibly good friends with today. I then ventured off into my own and that's what I do now. I teach basically what I'm talking about on this podcast. I teach all this stuff and that was a really long intro. But anyway, you, now you know a little bit about me and uh, if you'd like to follow on, feel free to hit the subscribe button. I try to be relatively regular with these over here on the podcast. Uh, of course, you can go and find me over at ultimateaffiliategroup.com. There's a free Facebook group. We've got some incredible training there if you'd like to pick that up as well. Anyway, enough of all that. This isn't about me, this is about you and how this is going to help with your conversion rates. This is a topic that actually came up in my coaching call today. I run a mastermind, it's called the Ultimate Marketing Mastermind. And uh, today the topic was, was these three things. I thought it'd be really good to be able to spit some bars help a few people out with what we're discussing here as well. So the three topics, three words in particular, well, actually there's two words, but they're divided into three segments, is chunking, number one. Sounds like a bit of an odd word, doesn't it? Chunking is the first one. Juxtaposition is the next, or juxtapose. What a great word that is. My goodness, I love saying it. Anyway, what am I talking about? Let's start with chunking. So chunking, is the way that you assemble numerical data in such a way that it either looks larger or smaller. To give you guys an example, let's assume for a moment that you have a coaching program and perhaps that coaching program, whether you are promoting it as an affiliate or you are a coach yourself trying to promote people to buy it, let's assume that it lasts for an initial six weeks. Now, on that basis, you could say, cool, six weeks of coaching, which is a factual, accurate statement. What looks larger on paper and what immediately taps into the subconscious of your buyers is 42 days. One is a large number. So it feels like you're getting more stuff. 
hopefully this is making sense at this point. So that is something that you'd say chunking up and it's the extrapolation of data and it's looking at different angles for that data. Another way to do it would be six months of coaching. And so again, you're looking at say 180 days, which is pretty cool. Uh, another way would be what I love to use, which is the juxtaposition of price, or if you've been around copywriting for any length of time, it's also known as price anchoring. And so what you can do, and I'll, I'll paint an example here of chunking up and how you can then use that to juxtapose price. It's pretty cool. So the example that I gave today was, let's say that most people out there that get into affiliate marketing are chasing the magic round golden number of $10,000 per month. And for most people across the globe, $10,000 per month is going to be a bit of a game changer. It's going to at least be enough to get you out of employment in most instances, be able to do it full time, help your family out, start to grow, serve more people, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. But it doesn't stop there. When we chunk up, what we can do is go, okay, well, $10,000 per month times by 12 months in the year equates to $120,000. So now all of a sudden we've created a larger figure out of the existing data that we have at hand. We've extrapolated it out. And if I was to talk about the stuff in my content and start to talk about some of the success stories I've had through students joining my program that have gone on to hit 8K with, in just a handful of weeks of working with me, another one that hit over $10,000 in just 49 days from scratch. If we start to look at this data, I start to talk about that stuff and we start to extrapolate that out on an annualized basis, that's $120,000, that's amazing. But we can go one step further. Let's assume, for example, that we were looking to sell a traditional brick and mortar business. In that instance, if we're talking about, say, your average plumbing business or, uh, a, I don't know, a laundromat or whatever, and let's assume just for argument's sake that it produces $120,000 with an incredibly high profit margin. That is affiliate marketing, by the way. Now, most modern pricing conventions apply a rule of three. That is that a traditional business of that kind, normally speaking, will sell around about three times its gross revenue as, as a rough guideline. Not always, of course, rough guideline. So then if we take those figures, we've got $120,000, we extrapolate that out, we go, cool, imagine if we were to sell that business. It's 360K, $360,000. See how big that number all of a sudden is? Now we could take it one step further and we can say, well, let's assume all things being equal that an affiliate marketer jumps into this industry and they grind away, because it's not, by the way, I'm, probably one of the few people that will admit none of this is easy. If anyone says it's easy, they are full of shit. Just block them straight away. <laughs> it's simple, incredibly, incredibly simple, but not easy. Okay. But if we assume that we have one of the people, one of these people that jumps in, absolutely gets the, the, the memo, understands everything, jumps in, bang, $120,000 in their first year, and it remains static, they never ever grow, never ever drops below 10,000, never ever grows beyond 10,000 per month. Now imagine what happens in 10 years of doing that. Now all of a sudden we've got $1,200,000 of gross revenue. And can you see, if I start talking about these huge figures and I put this in my content on repeat and I start talking about high ticket deals that have dropped and the two and a half K sale that I just made, and the 5K sale that I just made, and the seven and a half K coaching client that I just pulled in, and the $12,000 deals that I just made. And I start to extrapolate that out. I start to chunk that up. Can you then see why, when I say people that join my Ultimate Marketing Mastermind at the time of recording can get an, a year, a full 365 days of access, as well as lifetime access to the training portal 
for just 3,500 bucks. Can you see now that we're talking about these huge figures and we're thinking about how massive they are, imagine the ROI on that. You can't get that type of cash anywhere else. You can't get that in the bank, right? Imagine how much more productive that money is being used in your own education. Hopefully you guys are understanding why this is so unbelievably powerful. So that's chunking up and that's price juxtaposition and the, the anchor point and the juxtaposition juxtaposition of the price now means that anything smaller than that is going to seem tiny. And I'll give you another example. This is a real life one. So my ultimate marketing mastermind is broken into effectively two segments. So I've got ultimate marketing mastermind core. That is where I meet up with my people once a week. We have an incredible time. We talk about all sorts of stuff. We take a deep dive into businesses. I present information. We have a great laugh. It's just an incredible atmosphere and I'm absolutely humbled to be there with the folks. Now that is for an annualized uh, process and annualized uh, acceptance membership, sorry, <laughs> brain decided to not work for a few seconds back there, but it's for an annualized membership for 3,500 bucks, which is tiny. Now imagine for a moment, I'm going to do the opposite. I'm going to chunk down. I'm going to, ex I'm going to, uh, minimize that pricing. So all I would do is I take the 3,500, where it's actually three, four, nine, seven, I divide that by 12. $291 a month is all it's going to cost you for access to this incredible coaching. To grow a six figure, potentially seven figure business, it's only 290 bucks per month. How tiny does that seem all of a sudden? So the other thing to bear in mind is that with Ultimate Marketing Mastermind or UMM or UM, as it's been affectionately called now, so I have a light version and that is for the training portal itself. So they get access to all the scripts and the templates and the files, and they learn the fundamentals of sales and marketing and branding and offer creation and all that stuff that is never, ever, ever going to change all based on human psychology, which is why I'm so passionate, why I'm so proud to be able to present that stuff. But they also get weekly coaching. They get group access. They get all this stuff, right? It's pretty damn badass. but here's the cool things. Only a thousand bucks only a grand. And so what we can also do with all this stuff, right, is we can chunk down the pricing of things as well. If you're a coach and you have a product yourself and you want to chunk down even further, you can do a financing option just as I have with my ultimate marketing mastermind light for the time being until I come to my senses and get rid of this thing. But with that, at the moment it is, $249 as a deposit, and then just 11 really simple, easy payments of 97 bucks. That's it. You get that for life. How crazy is that to think of that? You can have a high ticket program, a world-class program led by someone with 12 years of industry experience, having sold millions of dollars worth of stuff. And all you need to fork out is 250 bucks. And assuming that you actually dedicated to making this stuff happen, the next month, it's only 97. So can you see, even though overall, someone actually pays a little bit more, it's about 1300 bucks. I've chunked that right down. It's actually only 250 plus 97 bucks a month. Tiny, right? Tiny, tiny, tiny. And you can do it the other way as well. You say, cool. Well, if you make a sale, then you've effectively landed a $1,300 deal. Pretty, pretty, pretty badass, pretty badass, right? Pretty cool. So those are the three things. Now, if you start to add this as part of your content, I guarantee you will get more interest from your leads because you're exposing these bigger figures. You're shrinking down the, the things to make it seem smaller. And all it is, is just approaching things with a slightly different angle. You're not doing anything nefarious. It's not dodgy, not manipulating things, just adjusting. That's all pretty, pretty amazing when you start doing this stuff. Now, for those of you that are yet to make sales, I'll address you. If you're just getting started, you're just on the ground floor, trying to figure all this stuff out. 
and you go and you haven't yet made sales. So think about the things that you can do that are going to help you out right now. Can you go and get an inbound lead? Now, if you're doing Facebook organic marketing and following any of the processes that I follow, it's really, really, really simple. When you're adding people as friends who are your target demographic that have expressed an interest in the same field as you, and you engage with their content sporadically, and then one day you pick up your phone and you put your phone on yourself and you take a little selfie, do your favorite duck face pose. And then on that duck face pose, you write some stuff like, hey, who wants to see the three step process I've been using to get daily inbound leads. And then you put a poll option and the poll option says yes, or maybe yes, or show me, you know, something like that. Right. And all we need is literally just one person, one person to hit one of those buttons, which then becomes an inbound lead straight into your messenger. You can communicate with them. Now, when you do that, all of a sudden you've got some data, you've got some things that you can talk about. And of course, if you do this every day, is it possible that you're able to get daily inbound leads? You're able to chunk that up. Maybe you get more than one. Maybe you do 30 stories over the course of the month, which takes you less than three minutes to put up. And that gets you an average of three leads every single day. And so therefore over the course of a month, you've now got simple three minute process gets you 90 plus leads each and every single month. Bang. That is going to be very intriguing to your audience. You've just extrapolated that out. Now you're chunking up, which is really, really cool. All right? Little lesson for you guys. Anyway, so that's it today. Chunking up, chunking down and juxtaposing price. Use those in your copy. You'll find less price resistance because people are already ingrained into the idea that something is high ticket anyway. They got used to that idea. And then when they're presented with the actual price itself, it's often a pleasant surprise for them. They will jump in with both hands. Like I say, you will get less price resistance and the buying process will be a lot more enjoyable for them. And the sales process will be a lot more relaxed from you because you won't feel like you're pressuring them because you're not, you don't need to do that stuff. They have already been presented with the price, already know what it's about, already know what they're getting into. It's just a matter of them going through that formality. Really simple stuff. Anyway, thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Really, really appreciate it. Like I say, if you want to follow me around, hit the subscribe button. Otherwise, head over to ultimateaffiliategroup.com. Join my free Facebook group. There's a bunch of free training in there. Uh, specifically, how I was able to scale my business to 51K months using a very simple process you can deploy in your business as well. All that being said, thank you so much. I will catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.